Now that we have a character in the Unreal Engine, let's link iClone and Unreal so we can pass streaming animation data. First, let's go to our plugins panel and make sure that our Live Link plugin is installed. I'm just going to type Live Link. And we can see that it's enabled at this point. Now let's close this panel and go to the Windows menu and open up our Live Link panel. You can see I have it docked here on the right hand side. Now let's add our Live Link source. We're going to click the little white arrow next to the Add button, go down to iClone Live Link. Since we're only using one computer, we're going to pick this default value. Now you would enter a different IP value if you're using a second computer to run iClone. Next, we want to make sure that Unreal constantly updates. So we're going to go to Edit Preferences and we're going to type in CPU. Now you're going to see Use Less CPU when in background. We want to make sure that this is turned off. This is going to ensure that we're constantly updating as we work. Now on the right hand side of our screen, you're going to see that the subject name is still empty. And this is because we haven't activated our link yet. Now in iClone, we're going to go from the transfer section to the link section. And you'll see that everything is lit up with these gray dots. We want to turn off Rampage and make sure the Paladin and the camera are still gray. We'll click Activate Link and you'll see that they turn green now. Now, if we go over to Unreal, we can see that Paladin 3 and Editor Active Camera are now in the subject section. With our link now active, let's actually go to the camera here and right click it in Unreal and go to Pilot. When you pilot a camera in Unreal, what it means is you're actually looking through that camera. Now, if we update things in iClone and move around, you'll see that the cameras now match in their position and rotation. Tracking a camera inside of iClone gives us another option. It allows us to actually use iClone's tools to animate or maneuver the cameras. And when it's active, it'll always be marked current. An easy way to test that the character is linked is to just simply move him or rotate him. So if we move him around, you'll see that it updates in the Unreal viewport automatically. The same with rotation. Now it's important to remember that as long as iClone is controlling the character, you really can't update it in Unreal. If I go over here and try to move the character in Unreal, you'll see that it's not going to happen. This is because iClone is fully controlling the character at this point. Another thing I should mention is that these links are name specific. So the names have to match. So if we look at the Paladin, I'll just zoom in here so we can get closer. You can see when I have it selected, I can go to the details section and I can scroll down to live link and you'll see that the name matches Paladin 3 with a capital P. It also matches here in the live link tab. So these names have to match. As soon as I change the name, the connection is broken. Now this is true for all the objects that includes lights and cameras. So just be aware of this. And of course, changing the name back reestablishes the link. And as you can see here, the camera has the same name as well. At this point, we now know how to set up the iClone Live Link with the Unreal Engine.